Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. This has been highly requested. I've had a lot of you guys message me on Instagram, on Snapchat, on TikTok, <laughs> um, throughout different social medias uh, for a stronger protection spell, a spell that can break uh, any type of jinxes, any type of uh, candle magic that has been done against us or against our will and this is definitely one of those spells that are simplistic I try to upload as many simplistic spells I know those are the ones you guys enjoy more or most than the ones that are a little bit more elaborate I know because of depending on what part of the world you're in it's more difficult to get certain type of ingredients so anyways this is a very simplistic spell but it is very, very powerful, let me tell you guys. You will notice changes. You will notice progress. You will notice your health getting better. You will notice being more energized, more focused. So without further ado, I'm gonna tell you guys step-by-step step how to do the spell and the ingredients. First of all, let's start with the ingredients. The most important candle, or the most important ingredient, all of these ingredients are important, by the way. You cannot supplement them. You cannot uh, substitute them. You have to use these ingredients. The only thing that you can substitute is the soap. That's the only thing, okay? All right, so what you're going to be needing is a chili black candle. With this, So when you go, you can go to any type of botanical shop and ask for a chili uh a chili candle in Spanish they are called um, uh, what is it called uh, I can't think of the name right now um, a velon velon de chile okay I'm sure you guys have seen them in botanical shops uh, they're usually with plastic and you can see the chili on these okay so these type of candles can be used for a multitude of spell work. You can use this for protection spell. You can also use this for damaging spell, chaotic spell work, that type of thing. But we're not using it for that. We're using it for to clear out, to remove and banish and break any type of hex, any type of candle magic that has been done against us, any type of envy, any type of obstacles in our life at the present time, whether it be with money, health, love, this is going to set you on the right direction, okay? So you're going to need a, a chili candle like this one. It could be any shape, doesn't matter. All right. We sell these on our online store. Uh, this has been, um, this has been uh, personally done. Um, and again, like I said, you can, find, you can find all these ingredients on my online store, except for the lumens. Okay, all right, so you're going to need this. You're going to need a plate to put uh, the candle, to burn the candle. You're going to need a glass with water. You're going to need two lemons. You're going to be needing a coin, depending on what part of the world you're in, but you do need a coin. doesn't matter the denomination, ideally. Um, it could be silver or plated silver, okay? You're going to be needing any type of perfume or cologne that you wear on your person the most, okay? So if you're like myself and you have a wide variety of perfumes or colognes, you're going to be using the one you use the most, okay? The one that distinguishes you, the one that most people always comment every time you wear it or that you're known for, okay? If you do not wear perfume, you can also use, if you use any type of oil as essence, um, any type of essential oil, you can use that instead of the perfume. Now, if you're not a type of person that wears perfume or any type of essential oil, then this spell is not for you, okay? All right. Now, what you're going to be needing is, for those of you guys that have purchased my Black Cat uh, Spell Soap, 
you're going to be using this for this spell work. For those of you guys that you can find this on my online store, again, like I said, uh, you can get this soap. So the Black Cat soap is actually, uh, we integrate coconut oil into it um, and honey. So all you really need is this soap. Now, if you can't get your hands on the Black Cat soap, then you would use a soap that is made of either coconut oil, cinnamon, or honey. Either one of those three. Coconut oil, cinnamon, or honey. Okay? You need any one of those soaps. Okay? All right. When are we going to do this? Ideally, do this on a Friday. You can do it any day of the week or weekend. It doesn't matter. But ideally, stick with Friday. Okay? What time? Doesn't matter. You can do it any time. At any, any time of the day or the night. Doesn't matter. All right. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to set the plate aside as this is going to be the last step that we take. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to shower. You're going to shower. You're going to wash your hair. Do your daily routine, whatever it is that you do when you shower. And when you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to get the soap. Whether it be the black cat soap or whether it be a cinnamon soap or whether it be a coconut soap or whether it be a honey soap. And what you're going to do is you're going to wash yourself from your feet all the way to the top of your head. Okay? When you're doing this, you're going to pray any type of prayer. So ideally you would do a Padre Nuestro. If you're not Catholic and you're of a different practice, you can, any type of prayer that protects you. All right? Once you're done with that prayer, what you're going to do is you're going to pass this soap, like I said, all the way from your feet all the way to your head, washing yourself, cleansing yourself, and you're going to be saying out loud, I remove and I cut any negative energy that has been sent to me, whether it be on a conscious or subconscious level, whether it be... Uh, whether it be against my will, I remove it now and I cut it. And you're going to be doing this all the while you're cleansing and washing yourself. I remove any type of witchery, any type of envy, any type of jealousy, any type of blockage. I remove it now. You're going to wash yourself completely from your feet all the way to your head. Remember, when you do this, When you do this, no longer put shampoo in yourself. No longer put any type of um, shower gel or anything like that. This has to be your last step when you're showering. All right? Once that's done, you're going to toss this soap out. You don't want to deal with that soap anymore. Okay? You're going to toss it out. You're going to get rid of it. Once you do that... You're going to be in your shower or in your bathtub completely naked. What you're going to do now is you're going to get these two lemons. You're going to get your perfume or your essential oil. And you're going to, you're going to spray it. Okay. You're going to spray it on both the lemons. And you're going to pass this all over your body. From your feet to your head. You're going to rub your feet, the bottom of your feet, the top of your feet, your ankles. You're going to, the back of your knees, your knees, your legs. You're going to sweep yourself completely from the top, uh, sorry, from the bottom all the way to the top. You're going to be rubbing this all over your body. All right? Completely all the way to the top of your head. You're going to rub your ears, you're going to rub your mouth, your forehead, your neck, your back, 
your breast, your chest, your stomach, everything. All right? Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to get, you're going to fill up the water with the, uh, or put water on the glass, and you're going to dump in the two lemons. Okay? Once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to get the coin and you're going to spray it with your perfume or your cologne. All right? Once that's done, you're going to dip it in the water. Okay? So now when we have that done, that's been a complete sweep right what we're going to do now is we're going to get the perfume you're going to spray the candle with your perfume all over You're going to get the candle and you're going to rub the candle all over your body again from your feet all the way to the top of your head, okay? You're going to sweep yourself completely, rub it all over your body while chanting. I cut the cords of any spell work, any type of witchery, any type of envy, any type of blockage that has been sent to me on a conscious or subconscious level. I remove it now, I banish, and I cut. I cut envy, jealousy, blockages, any type of witchery, I cut it now. All the while you're sweeping this from your feet all the way to the top of your head. Remember to do this while you're nude, okay? Once that's done, you can proceed to change yourself. You may proceed to put this in your altar or to put it where you're going to light it. You're going to put it like this. And you're going to put the glass on top of the plate next to the candle. Like this. And you're going to light the candle. Now what we're doing is we're cutting and removing those links of attachment that have either been placed on us or has been sent. There's people that carry very dark, heavy energy that they may not even be aware. And when you leave them, you are left with very low energy. You feel exhausted. You feel tired. You feel dizzy. Now there's people that go out of their way to harm us and to do negative or chaotic spell work in our lives. If you feel like it's one thing after another and you just can't progress, this is the spell for you to do. So once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to set these together. You're going to light the candle. Once you light the candle, remember, you cannot step away from it because it has to burn out completely has to burn out completely. Now, do not get worried if you see the candle dancing or if you hear it flickering, making noise, right? Because that just represents that the, the ties, that the rope or the link is being cut. You're going to light it and you're not going to disturb it. You're not going to touch it. You're not going to mess with it. You're not going to turn it off. So make sure that when you do this, you have enough time to allow it to burn out completely. Once the wax has completely melted and it is extinguished, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the glass. Try not to disturb the, the wax because the wax will melt within the glass. I mean, it doesn't matter if you break, you know, to be able to pick up the glass. But try not to mess completely with the wax that's on the plate. Now, if you see it completely watery, if you see it expand, if you see it 
like there's no big lumps or anything, then that represents that the cords have been cut. That represents that the blockages have been removed and that your energy is completely and utterly back to how it should have been. It is no longer tainted. It is no longer affected. Once that's done, you're going to remove the glass. You're going to pick up the, if you used it, if you did this like I did, you're going to pick up, it's going to be very easy for you to pick up the wax with the aluminum, uh, with the foil, sorry. And what you're going to do is basically you're going to fold it and you're going to toss it away from your home, away from your house. Do not go tossing it into your own trash bag. No, trash can, I mean. Toss it out, go to a park, go to, I don't know, a shopping center or something, throw it in their trash. Once that's done, what we're going to do is we're also going to remove the lemons. You're going to get rid of the lemons. You're going to toss out the lemons. Again, away from your house. Matter of fact, you can even put them in the foil when you fold it and just throw it in a shopping center, in a park, whatever. And you're going to get rid of the water. Now, the water, you can just toss it on the street, but it, don't do it in front of your house. Um, what I do is I just go to the corner and toss it there. Get rid of the water. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the coin. You're going to get the coin, and what you're going to do is you're going to put perfume in it. Once you've put perfume, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in, you're going to put it in your purse. If you're a man, you're going to put it in your wallet, but make sure not, do not waste it, do not spend it, so make sure to put it in a place where you know it's not going to get mixed with other coins. Why are we using the coin? Because a coin has a seal, right? It's the seal of protection. So you're going to carry that with you everywhere you go. Make sure to put it in your purse or in your wallet where it's not going to get mixed up with other coins. And you're going to leave it there. Every six, eight, or nine months, whenever you feel like you're starting to experience blockages again or difficulties in life, or if life gets a little bit chaotic, you can always do the spell again and use the same coin. Every time you use it, you're empowering it, and it becomes an active seal and an active amulet for your protection. All right, my lovelies? I hope you guys enjoyed this spell. Like I said, it's very simplistic to do. Uh, it gives you amazing results, and this is most ideal. If you really want to empower it and give it that extra ump and, you know, just completely demolish any blockages that you're dealing with right now, have everything ready to go for full moon. You can do it from now all the way to full moon, which is ideal to do because we're in the new moon phase. From now all the way to full moon, which would be October the 31st, that is a very powerful day to do this type of spell work. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely comment below. Let me know your experience. Let me know the changes that you start to see. I wish you guys the very best. Happy Hallow's Eve, everyone. Be safe. I love you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.